this gentleman here. Yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the product so you guys can see that part uh, first. And then we'll go in real briefly to the technology. So literally, I'm going to be about three to five minutes on what I'm going to do. And then you guys will be able to question, Q&A, everything. When I first saw this to everybody that's looking, um, and I saw that these gentlemen was presenting a presentation to me with a sanitary napkin, I, I almost laughed and I got up and almost walked out of the meeting. But thank, thank God that I'm an open guy and I stood and I watched what these guys showed me in terms of this demonstration. First thing I want you ladies to notice is how thin the pad is. That's very key um, that you guys see how thin it is. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a demonstration here of the power of this product and what we have and the new technology that's in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beaker right here because we found out from our medical advisory board that the average female, when they're on their cycle, they give off anywhere from 15 to 50 milliliters throughout the day. Now we already know uh, some, some women are more, some are less because of the fact that they have a heavier flow than others. So I'm gonna take these 50 milliliters here and I'm gonna pour it onto the pad right in front of everyone. And we know by now, a female probably would have changed by now because that's a lot of fluid to go in at one time. But one of the main issues uh, that many people don't know that's taking place, let me just pull it up a little bit as I go back to the pad, that many of our wives, our daughters, our nieces, our grandchildren are dealing with is the fact that they're wet throughout the day. That plays a big part because your body by nature is 98.6 degrees, so your body's always running hot. And then when you take the fact of you have moisture, you have bacteria, you basically have a recipe for disaster now. So now these are, this is leading to things like urinary tract infections, yeast infections, and in some cases, even cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh, we had a doctor that spoke at an event uh, that I did last night in Atlanta, uh, Dr. Tyrone Malloy, he's an OBGYN surgeon. And this man was just speaking on how uh, the, the chemicals and the sanitary napkins and tampons has been leading to damaging effect of these women. And that's why he's so excited to be partnering and collaborating with us on this joint effort because he'd been watching, especially our African American women be destroyed from what's being put into these sanitary napkins and tampons. Uh, we're gonna have four variations of the product. We're gonna have a day pad, a night pad, an overnight, and a, uh, a panty liner with the technology that you guys are about to see. Now, what I'm gonna do is I just pour 50 milliliters on the pad. I'm gonna take a red napkin because since we're on camera, so you guys would be able to see this. And I'm going to actually press on the napkin, put some pressure so you can see that pressure is being applied at the point 50 milliliters on the pad. And you ready for this? Nothing. We don't have a drop on the napkin at all. When I saw that, guys, I was blown away. I automatically knew a game changer because I knew I have a wife and three daughters um, that's at their, this phase in their lives. And I said to myself, if we can do something to keep women comfortable and dry during that time of month, you have a product that they're going to buy residually uh, for the next 30, 40 years of their lives as their cycles are happening. But I got more to show you before we wrap up. I'm going to take this cup of water here. I'm going to halfway fill it. Now keep in mind, I just took 50 milliliters of water and put it into the pad. But I'm gonna take the absorbency system that's inside the product here. As you ladies can tell, I've become a pe professional at tearing these pads apart now. <laughs> I'm going to take the interior of the absorbency system and I'm gonna place it right here inside of the, of the pad, inside of, I'm sorry, the water right here, right in front of our eyes. I want, to, I want you guys to see this. I'm gonna drop it in. 
The one thing that I want you guys to gather is this. I want you to see if you guys can really see that the exterior of our absorbency system, it has holes in it. That's by design. Also, the exterior of our absorbency system, it also has microfiber holes. Now, the reason why it has these microfiber holes because we don't want the female's body taking the brunt of all the bacteria and everything. So we've created a system of ventilation. So it's constantly airflow throughout that process. If you look at a sanitary napkin right now that your daughter, your granddaughter, or even you may be using, if you look at it, the outer covering is like a trash bag. There is no ventilation, no breathability, which means that the woman's body suffers the brunt of everything that's being thrown at it. Now, I just poured 50 milliliters on the pad, right? I just took a cup that was halfway full and it's totally absorbed. Every drop of water wow. that was in it, we've literally taken a liquid and we turned it to a gel. And if you guys were here right now with me, you would be able to touch it and see that it's also cool. The cooling effect is because we found out, Brother Barry, that while young ladies and women are on their cycles, their body is running hotter than normal. So now the absorbency system also has a cooling effect for their body. Now I want you to see this. Before I close, I just told you guys for everybody that came late, the new strip that's gonna be infused into our product is called graphene. The gentleman who discovered graphene, he won the Nobel Prize. He won the Nobel Prize in 2010, the guy that won graphene. This right here is the graphene strip that's gonna be infused into our new product. Guys, graphene is a 99.9% .9 bacteria killer. Bacteria and graphene can't coexist. Graphene helps women with hormone secretion, their metabolism. It helps with fatigue. It helps relieve stress. It helps with skin and mem membrane repair. It has so many benefits, it's mind blowing. Right now, the medical community is calling graphene the next medical revolution. But graphene, the main component of graphene, it contains what's called vibrational energy. It's always alive. You know, right now, as you can see, I'm touching this and I'm not being electrocuted because immediately what everybody's about to see, they assume electricity. I'm going to take a seven watt light bulb. This is a low wattage light bulb, guys. Anywhere this light bulb senses energy, it would illuminate. It's not like a 40 watt or a 60 watt light bulb that would normally be in your house that you cut your lights on with. Here's our strip right here. But what I want you to see right here with graphene, this is what it does. Wow. This is what graphene does. And this is the strip that's going to be infused inside our pads. It's going to change lives. Guys, I want you to hear what I'm telling you. We're currently right now, we're living in the future. Uh, I'm going to a summit that's going to be taking place in Washington, D.C. It's going to be on May 21st and May 22nd. Senator Trent Lott is the keynote speaker. All the billion dollar investors, all the billion dollar corporations. Uh, right now, IBM is leading the patents on graphene in the United States. There haven't been no one, basically I've ever asked, have you heard of graphene if they've heard of it outside of us introducing it to them. But I wanna say this guys, we are going now because we are going to explode this thing. We're going network and see there may be graphene uh, uh, grants that they have for minority companies. There may be graphene uh, 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 grants for uh, veterans. I'm a veteran as well. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a minority veteran. So double whammy for them. So guys, what I'm saying and sharing is we got a residual product that women are going to use. The last company that I co-founded with this similar technology and my wife and I were investors in we did $8 million in two years with a $5 product. Now we've improved the product and taken it to another level because of the things we knew that was wrong with the first product to do what we're doing now for a 100% black owned company. We're about to change the world. 
and we're going to do it one woman at a time. So now, on that note, I want to open the floor for any questions, concerns, because that's it for the demonstration. The floor is for you, on you guys now. Anything you hey, have. Hey, Damon, and I know you got a busy schedule. See, like every day you're in a different city, so we really appreciate your time. And, the, you know, Ken always talks about spirit. So uh, you said most of you talk to haven't heard of graphene. But D is on the line, and I want him to tell you uh, just how he tripped over it. D, go on and, and tell him uh, what happened. Take it away, brother. Greetings from California. Uh, yeah, I was. I do a lot of research. I'm in the block. I'm in blockchain, and I, I had just finished a video that I was. I was looking at some information on, and I went to go do something. I come back. There's a 30 minute video on YouTube about graphene and I'm sitting there like what is going on so I started w watching some of the stuff that he was talking about and how how graphene you can manipulate it it, it I mean it has uh, on a subatomic level is very strong it has a lot of different properties that that go along with it that like you were saying the healing properties is always alive and there's a lot of applications that you can do with graphene so uh yeah yeah I I, I heard about that this weekend <laughs> <laughs> what, what what are the chances of that, Demond? I found one guy who who known about graphene, but no, seriously, guys, just like the brother was sharing, I'm excited about it. And one of the main reasons I'm really excited because now you have a, a, a minority-owned company that's in the forefront of technology now in terms of the usage, uh, and now to be able to bring this to North America, you know, Barry, that's what the big celebration in Atlanta is about. That's why uh, all, all roads are leading to Atlanta Georgia, uh, Atlanta, Georgia that weekend because people are coming to celebrate with us because they see it as victory. Uh, they see it as, a, that's when the product will be released for the first time. It's gonna be the weekend of June 1st when uh, actually it's gonna be able to be for sale. Uh, you know, distributors are gonna be able to start buying packages and everything uh, to get moving. But I tell you, man, we have an arsenal of individuals already. My concern, Barry, is just being honest with, is that, man, the inventory that we got coming is pretty much gone. It's accounted for. So we are already uh, working on ordering a new round of inventory leading up to that weekend.